Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. These two have been going at it. What a fight we expect this one to be. Both of these athletes primed and ready. Fantastic punch. That counter shot lands. Neither man really defending themselves. With so much hype surrounding this match, I wonder if it can actually live up to the hype. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the head. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. You can't score with that uppercut. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Left scores. Quick punch scores. Very close round with ten seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Every second, every minute of... Here's the bell to start round two. The counter fighter relies a lot on her instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To be a counter puncher, you've got to take them out to their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop them all night long. Rush them. Nice exchange here from both men. That's another scoring shot. Puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. You'll find to the counter puncher who's got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching you every move, that every drill. Some nice exchanges from both men in this rank. Good left hand. Him with that uppercut. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. He 
you know that bell was sweet music to his ears. There's the bell for round three. Heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. A couple of big units there, so I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement, you're gonna have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are gonna happen. There's a scoring blow. Through the hook, didn't land. And they figure out the combination to this sink. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. you just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. After that big knockdown. Here we go to the fourth round. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed. So the big Ukrainian and big the unified heavyweight champion is down. who's won this round. Is there any way back into this fight after the beating he has taken so far? How are they going to revive him? Back into the fray here in round five. is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What could they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. 
for a certain amount of punches per round because otherwise if they deviate from the game plan they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over we've never seen alexander Usyk hurt like this before the unified heavyweight champion is down Chins, by the way. Good one. We've never seen Alexander Usyk hurt like this before. Usyk couldn't take anymore, and down he goes. Onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again.